Hallelujah. Welcome, everybody, all those of you that are joining us by audio or video. We want to welcome you. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. And welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. Prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Amen. You prepare to receive what God has for you. Amen. And he's not finished with us. And he wants to huh, teach us all the time. And see yourself as a learner all the time. Don't see yourself a failure. Amen. And sometimes we, uh, we tend to look at family. We tend to look at friends or people. And they tell you, even the world tells you, you're not qualified. You're not good enough. God tells you, I've approved you. I've equipped you. I've anointed you. I have called you. And everything you need to fulfill what I've called you to do is already in you. Yeah. And that's what we need to go by. This is the attitude we must have on a daily basis. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Amen. This is what we need to remember on a daily basis. Yes. Not what the world says, but what God says. What's the word of God says? Amen. So we must continue to fellowship with him at all times. Amen. Amen. So prepare yourselves to receive. Don't leave you like you came. We're going to leave change. And we're going to leave new people, a new person. Amen. Yes. He wants to encourage you. Bless you, change you, and he wants to correct us. Amen? Yeah. So, hallelujah, that's okay. Go ahead, have your way with me, Lord. Amen? Have your way with me. So, praise God. We're going to be talking about being joyful and being happy. Amen? And I'm going to tell you a little more about that in a few minutes. So, get yourselves ready. Grab your swords. Grab your Bibles, church. And say it like you mean it. Amen? Yeah. Here's mine, grab yours. Amen. It says, this is my Bible. I am what he says I am. I have what he says I have. I can do what he says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind's alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I got all kind of little notes all over here. <laughs> attitude, 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 church. Be joyful, be happy. And of course, we just sang a song. This is the day the Lord has made. Yeah. Was to say, I, I, I will rejoice and be glad yeah. in it. Amen. Sometimes we let situations, circumstances dictate our day for us. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, if you're a happy, joyful child of God, you wouldn't do that. If you have a relationship with him, you know already that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Woo. I don't know about you, but I'm happy. I already preached this to myself, and I'm happy. I'm joyful. Yeah. Listen to this. Christians, or well, let's say believers, born-again Christians, should be the most joyful, happiest people in this world. Yeah. Amen? Amen. But we're not, okay? We're not. But let me, let me read these couple of things to you. God woke you up this morning. Yes, he did. <laughs> Praise God. Isn't that enough reason to be joyful, yeah. to be yeah. happy, and to give him praise? Amen. Amen. Oh, thank you, Lord. Yeah. I'm glad I woke up. Hallelujah. Another day to serve you. Another day to say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. You know, if you say nothing else, you say, Lord, I want to praise you, and I want to thank you for all the blessings you have given me, and for waking me up another day. Amen. Amen. Be joyful, happy, cheer up, child of God. Amen. God doesn't give us what we cannot handle. Uh -huh. God helps us handle what he's given us. Oh, yeah. Amen. That's All we good. need to do is go to good. the word of God and, and know what the word of God says. He says the truth is going to set you free. Uh -huh. He says, cast all those weights, cast all those cares on me because I care for you. Yeah. So we need to remember these things. You know, we're trying to do his job and our job uh -huh. and we fail at both. <laughs> yeah. So we need to say, you know what? It's a new day, Lord. Thank you. Yeah. I will rejoice. I'm going to be glad in it. Yeah. And I'm going to fulfill what you've called me to do this day. I'm going to go out and be the closest thing to a Bible and be close to whatever people you come across. You know, say, I see Jesus in you. Mm -hmm. You know, that face is attracting, it's contagious. And see that face? He says, 
You must have had an encounter. He says, yes, I had an encounter of the God kind. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. You put a smile on your face and people yeah. want what you got. Amen. I mean, you got to be cheerful about it. You got to be happy about it. You don't go out there with a sad face, a frown, and try to attract people. It'll just push <laughs> them away. <laughs> but put a smile on your face and people want to know why. Hey, you must have seen that show last night. Or you must have seen that. Or you must have heard about this. No. I had an encounter of the God kind. I had an encounter yeah. of the best kind. Yes. And that's an encounter with Jesus this morning, yes. this afternoon, or whenever you have your encounters. Do it on a continuous basis. Yes. You don't have to do it just once in a while or <coughs> once a day, but all the time. Yeah. God, uh, whew, God doesn't give us what we can't handle. He give, help us to handle what he's given us. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Whew, hallelujah. Yeah. Let me say this. What do you think Jesus' attitude was the day he woke up and he knew oh, today's going to be the day oh. I get crucified? <laughs> you think he had a sad face on him? No. I don't think so. <laughs> Amen. On a daily basis, knowing he came to earth, knowing that he was going to be sacrificed. Mm -hmm. And still, you know, people come to him. Amen. People come to him. A daily attitude. I can do all things through Christ yes. who strengthens me. I can do all things through him. Mm -hmm. Who strengthens me? Lord, I need yeah. your strength. What did he say? It was one of our scriptures, our text. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're joyful, I'm sure you're going to have a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. Amen. And people want to know. Amen. Well, let me let me continue where I was here. You first become a Christian. Everything is great, smooth, easy, yeah. and comfy. Uh, but then it, as time goes on, if you're not renewing your mind to the word of God, if you're not feeding your spirit the word of God, amen, we become leaky Christians. And those things leak out. And next thing you know, our priorities change. You took Jesus off the throne and you put yourself up there or you put something else up there. Our priorities change and joy and happiness go out and the world comes in. The cares comes in. The distractions come in. And guess what? That smile turns into a frown. Amen. And you just frowning all the time. Yeah, listen, there's too many Christians who are just struggling through life. Born again Christians living a defeated life. Yeah. We're supposed to be the happiest people on earth. We're supposed to be uh, on top of everything. We can do all things through Christ. Now we got all these things that we yeah. can do. We got the word of God in us. Amen. And we're not even letting it out. We're holding it in, and we're leaving a, a de living a defeated life. How can you minister to somebody as a believer? How can you minister to somebody if you're living a defeated life yourself? Amen. People are reading you, whether you see it or not. But people are reading you, and when they see you, you're the closest thing to that Bible. You're the closest thing to Jesus you'll ever see. And they'll tell you. I've had people come up and tell me. You know, you're the closest thing to God. You're the closest thing to Jesus. You're the closest thing to a Bible. They are never going to come. Some of them will never cut step into a church. But you are his church going somewhere for them. Amen. Amen. And they'll see you. They'll see you. They'll hear you. And they'll listen to what you have to say. Amen. And you sow the seed in them that's going to grow. And you say, Lord... I know they I know they heard, I know they saw. Just grow that seed in them. And he's gonna draw them. Amen. He's gonna pull them in. <laughs> Forgetting who's and knowing they can do all things through Christ. Forgetting whose you are. And on your way to heaven, listen, we're on our way to heaven. We're supposed to be pilgrims, or we're supposed to be just passing through. We're not of this world. We're in this world, but not of this world. Mm -hmm. Just passing through. But on our way to heaven, sadly, mad, instead of joyful and happy, soaring with the eagles, God says, and not wallowing with the pigs or scratching with the chickens or scratching with the world. Yeah. Amen. We're supposed to be above all that. Amen. But see, this is your choice. Your choice is to fellowship with him, draw from him. Amen. Hook into the source. Charge up those spiritual batteries. Keep them charged up. Get the word in you and let the word come out of you. Amen. So we can bless somebody, touch somebody, 
Praise God. Start celebrating your life, being joyful and being happy. Don't just endure your days, enjoy your days. <laughs> Listen to this, keep your smile going. Keep your smile looking attractive and youthful and no frowns. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah, you know some of us, if we was to smile, we might crack our face. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Smile, it'll give you a facelift or face life. It'll give you a spiritual facelift. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Some of us need a smile. <laughs> smile real good, you know. <laughs> People want to know it's contagious. People want to know why you're smiling. Are you ready to share Jesus with them and let them know why you are smiling? Is it because of Jesus? Or are you going to hold it back and say, well, you know. Uh, I saw this, I heard this, you know. No, tell them the truth. You know, I had an encounter with God. I had an encounter every day I meet <laughs> him and he puts a smile on my face because I know the truth that he is setting me free Amen. from all the cares, all the worries of this world. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Get Christian families. Get with Christian families, friends, and enjoy. Cut loose, laugh, and smile. Amen. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> what do they call that? I, uh, uh, a happy hour? Yeah. <laughs> Get with friends, go to the bar for a happy hour. Yeah, Why do we need to go to a bar to have a happy hour? We can have a happy time all the time with him. Amen? <laughs> so we can still do that without having to go to a bar and get something in us that's supposed to make us happy. You know, when you drink or you get high on the most high, is the best high you can have. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. So then once again, Nehemiah 8 and 10 says, well, the joy of the Lord is your strength. Uh -huh. These are some good scriptures for you. Mm -hmm. Psalms uh, 34 and 8 says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that the joy and the happiness of those who take refuge in him. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's there for us all the time. He says yeah. he, he never leaves us or forsakes us. Right. He's always there. If you're lonely, and you're a Christian, something's wrong. Maybe it's telling me there's no relationship. And it's not on his part, it's on my part. Because he's there for me, and I'm not reaching out. Okay, he's reaching out to me, but I'm not reaching back. Psalms 37 and 4. Delight, enjoy, be happy, be joyful. Enjoy yourself in the Lord. And he shall give you the desires of your heart. Amen. Amen. He's the blessor. And we seek the blessor, not the blessings. Amen. Yeah. But he'll give you the desires of your heart. Proverbs 17 and 22 says, A cheerful, happy, joyful heart is good medicine. Mm -hmm. But a broken spirit saps. Saps. I'll give a few, few words here. Sap is drain. It'll weaken. It'll deplete yes. your strength. Yeah. Amen. But see... Cheerful, happy, joyful mm -hmm. heart is good medicine. Yes. Amen. And that's why we, we want, you know. We want this good medicine to flow through us. Amen. Yeah. And when they see that cheerful face, when they see the smile on your face, it's going to draw people. Are you ready to share with them why you have your smile? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Or are you going to be ashamed and say, well, you know, I was smiling because something else. Mm -hmm. And God's impressing on you. To share with them yeah. and you didn't you shut the door where God says it's time for them I'm calling them in but you never delivered what he told you to say mm -hmm. amen yeah. well, amen don't be ashamed he says if I if you're ashamed of me I'll be ashamed of you yeah amen <clears throat> every morning when you wake up before you even get out of bed I encourage you to declare it out loud I'm going to rejoice and be glad in this day that God has given me Amen. And of course, this, uh, Psalms 118, 24 says, this is the day the Lord has made. It says, I, you can take that I out or we out of there and just put your name in there. Mm -hmm. Put your name on there. Jose, we'll rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Mm -hmm. So like I said earlier, don't let circumstances, don't let friends, family, or anyone else tell you or dictate how your day is going to go. Yeah. My day is going to go great. Because God has already given me a new day. He's woke me up. And he wants me to rejoice and be glad. He's given me a new day a new day to go out there and serve him. 
and serve his people. Remember we talked about it last week. If you want to be great in God's kingdom, you must be a servant of all. Yes. Not just those who you pick and choose. <laughs> but be a servant of all. For Amen. The Bible says in John 3, 16, For God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he came to sacrifice his only begotten son. Yes. That whoever uh, uh, comes to him, you know, we can have life. Yes. Amen. We can have peace. We can have joy. We can have happiness. Yes. But we are to go out there and do what he's called us to do. Amen. Amen. So Psalms 118.24 says, This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. You rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. I think there's a, a plaque up there on the wall that goes like this. It says, Each day is a gift. Yeah. If God is giving you a gift, you got to receive it. Mm -hmm. Lord, you've given me this new day. I'm receiving it yes. with gratitude. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Amen. And praise him and thank you. Woo, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Decide to be joyful, happy, and smile right where you are. Bloom wherever God has placed you. Yes. You know, you get around people, negative oh. people, oh, my goodness. <laughs> and they tell you all kinds of things. Why they're working in the wrong place. <laughs> why this world is so bad. Oh, all kind of negative things. And if you hang around that, you know, you hang around skunks, <laughs> and you're going to stink like a skunk. <laughs> but you need to wash yourself with the word, amen? You wash yourself with the word, and instead of, when it comes time to you to say something, you say, you know, well, I just thank God he's given me a new day to serve him. Amen? I just thank God on a daily basis, you know, because he's blessed me, and he just wants to use me. Are you willing to say that? Even around amongst your friends, you know. Yeah. I, I I told you this before. I shared this with you. I asked the Lord to help me with my friends. Excuse me, with my enemies. And I started losing friends. Yeah. So you got to be careful. <laughs> those people that hang around you. All right? Mm -hmm. And if you're going to hang around, make sure that the greater one is with you. Mm -hmm. And you're sharing the greater one with them. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. So wherever God has you planted, that's where you need to be. Yeah. You know, well, you know, I just want to be here. I want to place myself here. Well, we can place ourselves anywhere. Mm -hmm. We can make our own plans. Mm -hmm. But you know what? If you go with his plans, they're already blessed. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we need to get on, on his mm -hmm. uh, on his plans and not yes. our plans. Make a firm decision to enjoy your mission. Uh -huh. Whatever mission he's placed you on. Amen. When you do you'll begin to experience abundant, joyful, happy life that Jesus died for you to have. The Bible says the enemy comes to steal, kill, destroy. Uh -huh. Jesus says, I come that you might have life mm -hmm. and life more abundantly, mm -hmm. life more joyfully, jo life more happily. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. So I want to be joyful, I want to be happy, and I want to live my life to an abundance. Amen. Amen. So it's over and above. You know, I just don't want to be uh, right at level, uh, uh, good, you know, average. I want to be above what he wants me to be. Amen. Amen. I want to be over that. Psalms 16, uh, Psalm 16, 11 says, oh, excuse me, I skipped one. Psalms 100, verse 1 says, Make a joyful yes. noise unto the Lord, uh -huh. all ye lands. That's right. Make a joyful noise. So, see, Mr. Rusty. You and I, we can make a joyful noise. And I can sing, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you don't care for my singing, but the Bible says make a joyful make noise unto the Lord. So if I'm going to sing, I'm singing on the hymn. If you're listening and you, you, you don't like it, maybe you need to get in the spirit. <laughs> you need to get in the spirit so you're listening the way he's listening to it. I say, wow, what a joyful noise. Hallelujah. <laughs> praise God. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want no rock singing for me That's right. or praising God for me. That's right. <laughs> he says, make a joyful noise yes. unto yes. the Lord. I'm singing unto him. You just happen to be on my side, on my yes. back, or in front of me, and you're listening to it, okay? But you know what? If you get in the spirit and you sing yes. and not just be looking or listening to what other people are doing, instead of you joining in yes. <laughs> and worshiping him, then you wouldn't take it so hard. 
I said, oh, man, God. a boy, brother, I said, I, I used to pray and ask the Lord to help me sing, but I'm going to pray for you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you need, you need more prayer than I do, brother. Let's join every whole church. Let's pray. <laughs> you ever heard Barney Five? Oh my God! <laughs> Psalm sixteen eleven says, "You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hands are pleasures forevermore." Yes. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Psalm uh, Philippians 4, 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Uh -huh. And again, I say, Rejoice. rejoice. Yes, Amen. There's <laughs> nothing sad about the Word of God. That's right. We just got to get it in us. Yes. You know, when, once you get it in us, uh -huh. it's going to show, it's, it's going to come back out. Yes. And we just got to let it out, you know. Yes. When you have the Word of God in you, you that frown is going to leave. Yes. That frown is going to go. Yes. Amen. <laughs> God's trying to set us free, and we're still trying to. Hold ourselves back. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's yeah. your choice. Yeah. You got to make that choice. Says, hey, I'm free. I'm free. You know. Yeah. Let it go. Yeah. Psalms, uh, uh, First Thessalonians five, five sixteen. Be full of joy all the time. Uh -huh. That's the New Living uh, Version. Be full of joy all the time. The, the New King James says, rejoice all the time. Yeah. Not just sometimes, but mm -hmm. all the time. All the time. I say, why are you so happy all the time? Make people mad. <laughs> why are you so happy all the time? You know, have you heard? Have you seen? Or whatever. You say, no, I'm just happy. I'm just full of God, you know. I just cast all my cares on him. That's what you need to do. Yeah. You know, I'm not trying to do God's work. I'm trying to do what he's called me to do. So I cast all those other things on him. Yes. Amen. He knows what to do with them. Uh -huh. Better than we do. We try to help yeah. him sometime and hold on to him. Mm -hmm. And they're just miserable. Yes. Yeah. Here's one, John 3 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have yeah. everlasting life, abundant, joyful, happy life. Yeah. That's what we want. You know, some of us will spend a lot of money to go buy happiness, <laughs> it won't last. Yeah. The worldly happiness that you try to buy, it ain't, it ain't gonna last. God has already given it to us. But we need to receive it from him and be yes. the person he wants you to be. Uh -huh. Be the child of God he wants you to be. Yes. Amen. Be obedient. Again, Psalms 118, uh, 118, 24, New King James. This is the day the Lord has made. We will we rejoice are. and be glad in it. Uh -huh. I will rejoice and be yes. glad in it. Yes. Amen. And again, you can take that and scratch it out and just personalize your Bible. I haven't said that in a while, but if you have a, a Bible that's nice and pretty and you have no scratches, no marks on it, throw it away. <laughs> or, no, excuse me, just give it away. <laughs> just give it away, you know. You know, I've had people tell me that, okay? I don't mark my Bible because uh, if I give it away, I don't want it to be all marked up. Well, get you one. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money on it. Go get you one at the thrift store. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of them. Oh, get you wow. one that you can scratch, write, or highlight it, and yeah. just personalize it. Oh, Make yeah. it for me. This is for me. This is God's word for me. Yeah. Amen. That's the way we have to see it. Make it for you. Most people, including Christians, spend most of their times. Listen, Christians. We're talking Bible throwing Christians. Yeah. De defeated, wow. beaten, mm. overpowered, mm. overwhelmed, yeah. and crushed. Yeah. Are you talking about a Christian, this Christian, going out to minister to somebody? Mm. A defeated Christian? No, boy. Uptight, tense, anxious, upset, mm. sad, mad, and troubled. Mm. <laughs> you know what, brother? <laughs> you know what, sister? <laughs> I don't want you praying for me right now. <laughs> 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 the way you look and the way you sound, uh, I'll just do myself. Mm. You know, be cheerful, be happy. Say, hey, yeah. is that the God that's blessing you? Mm. If that's God blessing you, I don't want none of that. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Overstressed, burdened, overloaded, overstretched, and overstrained. Oh, boy. Come on now. We're talking about Christians now. 
Yeah. But just think about godly people. I mean, the ungodly people. Ungodly. Worldly people. Most people are saved. Christians. Discouraged, downcast, depressed, dejected, disheartened, and hopeless. Mm. You mean you're you're born again Christian and there's no hope for you? Mm. Why are you so discouraged? Mm. Amen. Why are you this way? When you should be, this is what the, the word of God says. This is the day the Lord has made. I will yes. rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. 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 Because of the joy and happiness is based entirely on circumstances. Mm -hmm. Maybe wrong job, wrong career, relationship, friends, or habits. Mm -hmm. The world. You try to be world pleasers instead of God pleasers. Mm -hmm. It ain't going to last because you'll never please people. That's right. Amen. You know how you please God? Just do what he's called us to do. Mm -hmm. And he's pleased. And he says, I've called you. I've approved you. You don't have to wait for worldly approval or, you know, people's approval. I've already approved you. I've got you on this mission, and you can do all things through me. Yeah. Amen. Be happy wherever you are. <laughs> he sent his disciples all over the desert. <laughs> Martha's nothing. This is a city compared to desert. <laughs> uh, was it uh, Jonah found himself in the belly of a whale or, or a fish? <laughs> a lot of his disciples were in prison. <laughs> Still, be happy. Even even uh, Paul says, you know, hey, I lived a great life. Yeah. You know, and I'm happy. And if he calls me now, I'm happy to go. Yeah. But you know what? As long as he's got me here, I'm going to be happy. And I'm going to just minister to people and write his word. And he yeah. wrote two-thirds of the New Testament yeah. in prison. <laughs> and what about us? <laughs> What's wrong with us? Yeah. We've got everything going for us. Yeah. And we choose not to mm. do for him. Mm -hmm. How do you think God feels? Yeah. You know, he's gifted you. He's anointed you. And he's given you everything you need. And one day when you stand before him, yeah. he's going to say, why didn't you do what I called you to do? Mm. Well, I never knew what it was. Mm. When you never spent time with me. Yeah. You never got to know me. Mm. I would have told you. Mm. And you never used the gifts I gave you. Yeah. All the gifts he given oh, you, you just gave them back to him. Mm -hmm. He says, when he gifted you, he says he never takes those yeah. gifts back. He is there. Whether you use them or not, the gift is there. Mm -hmm. Amen. First Peter 5, 7. Hallelujah. It says, give all your worries to him. Yeah. Cast all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Yeah. You know, before he gave you these things to go and fulfill this, he says, before you go, cast all those things on him. Yeah. On a daily basis, he said, don't worry about the past, it's gone. That's right. Don't worry about tomorrow. He says, today has got enough things to be, be worried about. That's right. That's right. <laughs> got enough troubles of its own yeah. for today. Yes. Without you having to worry about your past, still hanging on to the past. Mm -hmm. Let it go. He said, the future, just wait till tomorrow. That's why us, we say, mañana. <laughs> mm. Mañana, mañana. <laughs> mm -hmm. Psalms 55, 22 says, Give, cast, throw your worries, yes. burdens, that which he has given you to the Lord, and he will take care of, sustain you. Yes. He will never let the good, the righteous people down or be moved. Yes. But you got to give it to him. Yes. Amen. And these things come on a daily basis. I mean, your sack is full. <laughs> yes. You just got to cast it out on him. Give it back to him. Yeah. I don't want this. You hear things at work. You hear things wherever you happen to be at. Yeah. And these things just attract, attach themselves to you. Yeah. You got to be willing to just say, <laughs> I give yourself a spiritual bath and clean yourself from all this thing and give it back to him. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Why lose your joy and happiness when you can cast it and give it to him? Mm -hmm. Stay joyful and happy. Don't let him go. Keep your spiritual, joyful batteries charged. No frowns, yeah. sadness, yeah. smiles. Be joyful and yeah. be happy only. Yeah. 
Amen. Amen. You keep these. It's up to you. It's your choice. People will try to bring you down all the time. Amen. People, <laughs> let me see how it goes. Um, if you try to please people, you'll never please them. And they'll try to take you down. Amen. So don't do that. Ephesians uh, 6 12 says, For our fight, you know, you, you can tell so much when people talk. I can locate exactly where they're at just by the way they talk because they're always fighting people. Mm. People fighting people. Yes. Ephesians 6 12 in the extended Bible says, For our fight, our conflict, our struggle is not against people on earth flesh and blood, but against the rulers and authorities of the powers of darkness of this world. Against the spiritual powers of evil in the heavenly world or the heavenly realm, the heavenly places. Our fight is with the enemy. Amen. Well, say, uh, God is, Jesus defeated him. We're yeah. fighting a, 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 a defeated foe. Mm -hmm. We need to know this. If you don't know the truth, then you're not going to know but we're fighting a defeated foe, and then you have to take the authority he's given you so you can say, wait a minute, Satan. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. flee. When you start to stand your ground and stand in the word, the enemy has to go. Yeah. Say, you know what, I'm not going to listen to your lies anymore. And renew your mind with the word of God, mm -hmm. feed your spirit the word of God, and crucify your flesh. Yeah. Say, flesh, quit listening to all these uh, lies. But the flesh and the spirit are fighting on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So you got to just know that the enemy is going to try to come against you. Mm -hmm. Amen? And we do fight a spiritual battle. You cannot defeat a spiritual battle in the flesh. Right. We need the Word of God to yeah. overcome this. Amen? Yes. <clears throat> People are joyful and happy when things are going their way, smooth, easy, comfy. No financial problems, no job problems, no work problems. Uh, the only time they mention God is when they say, oh, God, thank God it's Friday. <laughs> or holidays or vacation time or time off. These things make people happy and joyful for a season. And then it's over. Yeah. Amen. Then it's over. We need to keep that joyful, that cheerful attitude at all times. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Ha. Huh. We ain't even got into all, right. all this. <laughs> but uh, we're going to be picking it up here for next week. And uh, about keeping our joy. Of course, uh, uh, Nehemiah 8 10 will be in our text. Yeah. The joy of the Lord is our strength. Joy is the result of knowing who you are yep. and whose you who are. You, are. Uh -huh. you need to know these things. Amen. And I always use uh, David as my example. When he came against his giant, he knew who he was uh -huh. and whose he was. Yeah. And we need to know this on a daily basis when we face our earthly giants, when we face our worldly giants that we uh -huh. go out there, you know, all those giants you have out there facing you, you know, God is with you. Mm -hmm. Amen. No, He's never leaving me or forsaken me. Yes. He's with me all the time. All the if time. you remember the footprints, when we can't go any further, He carries us. Amen. Amen. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. So right. we be led by the Spirit of God, keeping your joy and allowing the Holy Spirit to lead you, guide you the way we should go. In Proverbs uh, 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your path. Yes. You know? So you gotta be careful who you're asking for advice. Yes. Or who you're uh, talking with. Or who's putting into who you're allowing to put into yes. your life. That's right. You gotta be careful. Because they might give you the wrong things. And especially if they're jealous about you, mm -hmm. they're gonna oh. give you the wrong things. And you know what? When you know the word and somebody tells you a lie, 
or the enemy tells you a lie, you know that's not what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. So guess what? Don't receive it. That's Just it. put it on the shelf and say, ha, ha, I'm not receiving it. That's not what the Word of God says. I'm going to stand on what the Word of God says for me. Amen. So, church, let's uh, continue to keep our joy, our happiness. Amen. We're going to stop there, and uh, we're going to continue next week on joy and happiness. And you know what? Even in these days right now, uh -huh. we need our joy and we need our happiness. Yes. Not only is it going to bless you, but it's going to bless those people around you. Yes. You know, <laughs> There's people out there killing themselves. There's people out there sad. They don't know where to, to where to go and where to turn. And right. here you come, joyful and happy with your God. And God is going to use you to yes. bring freedom to them, to bring freedom to them. And God's going to use you. Yeah, you are somebody. Don't see yourself, well, I can never. Well, if you say it, you can. But if you can say, I can do all things through Christ yes. who strengthens me, you can. Amen. Amen. And guess what? God, He's the head and we're the body. Mm -hmm. So all he's got to use is us. Yes. That's us. We're Amen. the body. So he wants to use you as well. Amen. So see yourself that way. God wants to use me. God is using me. And God will use you. Amen. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Thank you, Father, for this awesome word that you have given us. Yes. And we uh, just pray, Father, that we continue to walk with you and be uh, joyful and happy. That you have us here doing your work for you, Father God, and we joyfully uh, serve you in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes. Praise God.